Welcome back to What's New. It is time to see what's clicking in Cleveland on this Tuesday evening. And for that, we bring in our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. Hello again, Stephanie. How are you? Hello, Jay. I'm doing great. And I've got great news for people who are voting in person next week because you can get a ride to the polls for free. RTA rides on buses, trains, and paratransit vehicles are free on Election Day in Cleveland. This is thanks to a $75,000 grant from the Cleveland Foundation. Public transit is also free in Akron on November 3rd. Now, for those paratransit riders, remember that the RTA says schedule those rides in advance just like you would any other time. And reminder for everyone, you have to wear a mask to ride. Now, let's get to know the man responsible for catching that game-winning touchdown pass on Sunday for the Cleveland Browns. It is rookie wide receiver Donovan Peoples-Jones. He was a sixth-round draft pick this year, but he's a five-star talent, according to former Ohio State football coach Urban Meyer, who said he should have been a top-ten pick. So, basically, he was a steal for the Browns. Peoples-Jones played in college for that team up north, but he skipped out on his senior year to enter the NFL draft and tested as the top wide receiver at the scouting combine. Now with Odell Beckham Jr. out for the season, Peoples Jones could see more playing time, especially if the Browns don't trade for another wide receiver before the deadline on Tuesday. Now, if you love scary movies, Broadband Choice has ranked the 35 scariest movies of all times using people's heart rate when they watched. And the number one spot goes to Sinister, starring Ethan Hawke. In that movie, he plays a true crime writer and he's trying to solve a murder for his next big hit. So he moves his family into the victim's home and you can imagine how that goes. Number two is Insidious and the number three spot goes to The Conjuring. We've got that full ranking up on WKYC.com and I checked that list, Jay. I am proud to say that I've actually seen two movies on that list, which is two more than I thought I would have said. They both gave me nightmares and they were ranked very low. And that's about as good as it gets for me with the scary movies. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. Not a huge scary movie guy. I will say for me, Amityville Horror scared the bejesus out of me. I was just, it was crazy when I watched that. I, I, I couldn't sleep with a light off for about a month. I was young. Shouldn't have been watching it, but that, that's my scariest movie. 